Dr. Naomi Butheris is not intentionally trying to scare these young turkeys. Rather, the Ohio State University researcher is videotaping the human poultry interaction to see if the animals are frightened by her movements. By moving through the barns, standing stationary and walking slowly, we're able to record the number of animals that are staying close to the person and that gives us a measure of how fearful of humans those turkeys actually are. Dr. Batheris is an animal welfare extension specialist at Ohio State. It's a title that she says sometimes makes livestock producers a bit unsure. Some producers understandably can be hesitant about working with someone who has welfare in their job title because they may see me as um, someone who is not going to be working in their best interests and doesn't have their best, best interests at heart. Dr. Bethera says the current, sometimes confrontational dialogue on animal welfare has resulted in part from urbanization. It's the move away from living on the farm and towards people living in the cities. And so people have lost touch with agriculture and lost touch with the way that we produce our food. And while most people continue to consume animal food products, consumers want to be reassured that farm animals are humanely treated. That, she says, benefits consumers and producers. Firstly, animals that have good welfare usually have good productivity. So it's in the producer's best interest to have animals that have good welfare. A number of farm organizations and universities, including Ohio State, address animal welfare in classwork and seminars with livestock producers. The research here has focused not only on poultry, but hogs and cattle as well. One research project looked at the possible benefit to cows from a change in the flooring in dairy barns. A softer, less slippery flooring surface, a rubber flooring surface, and how that affects the behavior of the cows and also their milk production. And while that project considered dairy cattle comfort. In fact, we found no differences in the behavior or the milk production of the cows on the concrete or the rubber flooring surfaces. Projects like this continue to explore how farmers and ranchers can address perceptions about animal welfare. Dr. Bathera says that herding techniques, which use slow movements and lower levels of vocal prodding, can significantly improve stress levels and how animals react. We found very clear and consistent relationships between how the stock people or the animal caretakers interact with the animals and how that affects the behaviour of the animals and in turn affects the animals' um, productivity and welfare. The ongoing dialogue on food production animals provides an opportunity for both consumers and livestock producers. Establishing efficient animal procedures on farms and ranches while addressing consumer questions about humane treatment. Because they're concerned about animals, including animals that are raised for food and fibre, and so they want to know that the animals are being taken care of and looked after.